I wanted to show you how to update the operating system on your Yamaha Motif Rack XS. I don't know if it's called Motif or Motif. Either way, uh, I'm going to say Motif because that sounds a lot more fun. Anyway, uh, first thing you want to do is turn it on and let's see what version of the operating system we have. So the way you do this is to do Edit Utility. Hold that down. And then you will go into the sequence mode, the uh, demo mode. Now here what you want to do is hit audition. And you want to hold audition for like three or four seconds. See there's the firmware right there. That's how you find out what version of firmware you have. We are upgrading to 1.04. So what we need to do here is we need to make sure that... Let me go ahead and hit exit. We need to make sure that our MIDI mode is USB. The way to find that is you go to Utility right here, press that, arrow over on the MIDI, and then you can hit you can hit Enter here, or you can press you can hit Enter here, or you can press the knob. Press the knob, make sure it's USB. If you turn the knob, you'll see that it'll change MIDI, USB. Okay, we want USB, so we're going to hit Enter. Then we're going to hit Exit. And then we're going to hit Store. Okay, so now if we turn this off, turn it back on, we should be set for MIDI to be in USB. So let's take a look here. It's very important that it is in USB mode. So if we go to Utility, MIDI, and the MIDI, USB. Awesome. Okay. Hit Exit. Exit again. Okay, now what we need to do here is very important. We have to reboot this and start it up into firmware update mode. So it's a little tricky. What you have to do is you have to hold down multi, voice, and up arrow at the same time you turn it on. So pardon me while this is going to look a little funky. So I need to turn it off. And then I'm going to hold the keys down. I'm going to turn this on. And now it's in firmware update mode. So it's waiting for sequencer. Okay, now that that's waiting, I'm going to go here into Cubase. Yes, I'm running on a Mac in virtual windows. Uh, not really a big deal. Uh, what you want to make sure of is that the USB device up here is set so that your USB device USB device you have to make sure that the Yamaha is shared okay there it is so what you have to do is you have to import the file it's a MIDI file um, even though it's actually a um, system exclusive uh, data file what you need to do is you need to import as MIDI file and there's the file right there so I'm going to hit click open and then it's going to ask me where I want to keep the project um, yeah that's fine so it's about a 25 megabyte file so it's going to take here a couple seconds uh, to load up and you're going to notice something really weird here you're going to notice that your output right here you cannot select the Yamaha for some reason okay what I do here is I just add a new MIDI track and hit OK notice there's the motif shows up now so then what you do is you click this and you go to copy, go down here, and we're going 
into paste. So we're going to go down here into this track and then go up to edit, paste, there it is. And then we'll just right click and remove track. So now we should be ready to go. And we can just, we should be ready to go. I double click this and go to, let me focus on that, change this to system exclusive. There's all the data. It's going to go to the motif. So we go ahead and go back to our track and make sure that we're set for 120. Rewind back to the beginning of the file. And we're going to hit play. And once we hit play, you see that it starts updating. This is going to go for probably half an hour to 45 minutes. And once it's done, you'll see a message that says to turn it off, turn it back on. So I'll be back. Okay, so now you can see that it's finished. And it says to please turn off. So I'm going to turn it off and turn it back on. So now let's see what's different. So we press Edit and Utility, same time. Goes into Demo Mode, press Audition, press Audition for a couple seconds, there we go, firmware version 1.4, 1.04.